And I remember the first uh, couple weekends that we had people through here, there, the kids were running in the halls and the parents were having a good time visiting each other and envisioning the new school here. And uh, now we're getting closer to it. Uh, we're standing in the atrium, which will stay here, and it will be part of our academic commons, which many people call the library or the media center. And it has a good feel of outdoors and of light and of excitement. Uh, we hope this place uh, brings a joy to education that uh, is uh, great in this vicinity, in this community. But yeah, God has blessed us richly. We looked everywhere from Kansas to the mountains <laughs> and everywhere from downtown to Larkspur. And, and God gave us this piece of property and we are still really, really excited about it. And when you really think about it, you have a 270,000 square foot building and all of the amenities that are already mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and what can be. And I love how the school leadership has reached out to the community and says, look at this room. Yeah. What could it be? Yeah. What could it be to help achieve the dream of your child and reading it? creating an educational enrichment environment. And uh, that is very exciting because you've almost got a clean slate of sorts and to it figure is. out what, what can be do. And we can seat uh, more than 300 people in this area very comfortably. It, uh, the whole area is, sur is surrounded by tables and chairs and booths. And in the center of this building, as I said, the commercial kitchen was left intact. Uh, and it is uh, able to prepare food for all of those uh, 300 people at one time. Up there behind me, you will see, of course, the grand entryway, the foyer, the entrance where people will gather and the community will hang out. And also in the windows up above it, you see that cafeteria that we were in earlier. That seats 300 and has a fully functional kitchen going with it. Absolutely. And it really is amazing for an opportunity. When you look at what Denver Christian has done over the years when we first started this process, uh, and, and looking and creating strategy for what Denver yes. Christian wanted to be and where it wanted to be, and all of that planning all of a sudden came together and we were able to identify a facility, able to acquire that facility in a very fast time period, uh, getting through that process, and then within eight to nine months to be up and operational and serving students for the future. We're probably standing close to the center of the baseball field, maybe at uh, third base uh, at this <laughs> point. And up behind us uh, will be the football field, the track, uh, and uh, of course soccer is played on that field as well. If you look at it, we're in between our existing facilities and still staying uh, and encouraging our existing constituency and, and being with them in this transition, but also opening the door to, to new communities. Yes. and to building those partnerships and to me that is really what's going to make this school even more successful than it already has been. For many of our parents um, they are committed to driving out here, uh, carpooling out here or uh, using some of the new bus lines that we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating four new uh, bus transportation lines uh, one from Aurora straight here, and one from the uh, Castle Rock area, and one from up north, and one from the mountain area. So we hope many of them use that. And it, what's more interesting than that is how many of them say they're going to move west. Exactly. And I think that's good for the community, it's good for them, it's good to expand out. And they say things like, well, we're already starting to look for property in the area, because we're going to go to the school no matter where it is. And I think that's a good testimony to what the school can provide for the kids. Absolutely. And I think there might be a residential housing boom out here from that <laughs> at the end of the day. But, you know, whether it be our existing community and Denver Christian, I think, has done a, a very good job of reaching out and trying to accommodate them. And I think once they come to the facility and realize what's here and the potential, uh, the extra five or ten minutes will be well worth it. But in addition, uh, there's a lot of families that I've already people are reaching out to me and I know they're reaching out to you as well right. saying you know what I never thought of Denver Christian it wasn't near me or exactly. wasn't something that was on my radar screen and now cool. you're out closer to me exactly. and I'm gonna start sending my kids uh, to Denver Christian that's exactly right we're really pleased about that because not only is it good for the school we think that we can really offer something to the community and help together become a better community both the school and the environment in the neighborhood we're in so it's going to be an exciting future for us